So the structure of mind is the structure of the ten dimensions which bring theory. It would be absurd or preposterous to have a structure of mind that didn't fit in with the ten dimensions. And equally well, it would be preposterous if the development of those ten dimensions didn't show the development of meaning in, in, in our world, in our view of the world, in our perceptions. Obviously this is difficult to understand because we have a view of an external world and ourselves an object moving around in it. Now the point is to see how this you know, illusion is created. As I said, this is the union of physics and psychology. We have the ten dimensions of string theory and these mind is built on that, that structure so first of all we'll go through the ten dimensions to show how they build up on top of one another and to give you an idea of the development of meaning so first of all we have the point the zero dimension and then we have the movement of that point to create the first dimension and, and this then becomes intent The movement of the line of the first dimension creates the surface, the plane of the two dimensions. The movement of the two dimensions creates the three dimensions of space, of places. The movement of the, the places of the third dimension creates the fourth dimension, which is time. The movement of time creates the fifth dimension, which is ourselves as an observer, observing the changes of time. The movement of the observer, of the vision, creates a sense of pressure, of touch. The movement of the pressure, mass, you know, as we move the, you know, say, a hand to feel the object, the movement of that pressure mass creates the object. The movement of that object is energy you know, the heat. The movement of the energy creates the position, the orientation. So there we have the points, the line, the second dimension, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. Now these are the dimensions of our mind and of the ten dimensions of string theory. So we have a, a common structure. This is the structure of our minds. Now, there are all the points. Now, here we have three triangles. We have the triangle of the video signal, the quantum level, the quantum mechanics, which is two-dimensional. Remember, it's two-dimensional. The vision is two-dimensional. There's the vision, seeing the two-dimensional, seeing the movement of the line on the surface. And then there we have the vision of that movement, which becomes the acceleration, the relative movement, the acceleration. There we have the, the vision of the face, which becomes the identification of the face of the object we see moving. This is the level of quantum mechanics. Now with that movement, which in our consciousness is the movement of attention, so we follow the movement, moving object, and we see the, we identify the faces. This is the attention, the movement of our attention from object to object. Here we have the audio. But from moving moving from the quantum level from the movement, we get to a waveform. The movement to rest. Rest the movement to rest, the wave. And the movement of that waveform create sound and the sound is you know with recurring waves earth. And that waveform enables us to identify that shape, you know, the space that we're in, you know, it bought its size, dimension. And then there we have the smell, smell that and identify the smell. There we have hearing the sound. Now, obviously, sound can then be broken up into characters, different phonemes, 
you know, and then this becomes words. We've got space. These are the distant senses, you know, smell, hearing, and the detection of heat. You know, space and time and energy equals MC squared. Space and time and energy. The, rel the level of, rel of relativity. You know, the distant senses. The third to the fourth, the eighth dimension. From the movement of that waveform, we get a pressure. And from the movement of that pressure map, we get the object, which identifies the case, which is the object in the mouth. And then obviously that object, which is the pressure map, is an identified in position, which you see as gravity is there in the ninth dimension. So we have a, a structure of dimensions and our, our minds grow upon that structure of dimensions with another alternative. So all creatures will follow the same structure in the structure of the dimension. So obviously the number of chromosomes and, and other factors will determine you know, their different perception. So this is the general model. So there we have the video triangle. There we have the video signal. Then we identify different objects in that, different areas. We identify the different area what it is. And then we can program that out into different areas to identify the part of an object and connect it, link it up with the uh, pressure map so we can identify the object and name it. So there's always an integrated function from one step to the other. Now the other important idea is that these are entoptics. These patterns of the numbers represent entoptics. That represents the breast, the point going in and out of focus, this coaxial signal. This is the movement of that, which is the tunnel entoptic, the feeling of sliding down a tunnel. Like when the system turned off at the moment of death, this is the sensation of going back down a tunnel. Then the, the other thing is the integration of the other, uh, of the dimensions is the integration of these three signals: the pressure signal, the audio signal, and the video signal. Uh, as I said, the audio signal gives us the relativity in the place and time, and relatively on the lower level of being in, in harmony or out, out in tune or out of tune. So, excuse me, these operate on different scales. So the large period of time is the daily and monthly cycles, but in the 